So in this video, we're going to look at how do we import the video clip of your Rocket to the Logger Pro software, and then how do we use the buttons in Logger Pro to analyze the Rocket and to get the data that you need from it, the speeds and the heights. So the first step, or the second step on your uh, instruction says to go to Insert. So I'm going up here to the top to Insert Movie. And if it doesn't come up to your desktop, you should get it to your desktop, and that's where you should have saved your movie from your email. If you didn't do that, then just go back and in your email account where you emailed yourself the movie, make sure you save it to the desktop of the computer. That's the easiest way. Some students also save it in the downloads portion, but that becomes a little harder. So I click on this movie that I've saved to my desktop. I click open. You can see here now I have the movie. And if I click like this, you can see that it seems like the movie disappears. But really, it's just behind the graph. So what you want to do is resize the graph like I'm doing so that you can look simultaneously at the movie, the graph, and this data table over here. And I'm going to position this over here. And I'm also going to move this data table, move it out some, so that I can take a look at all the data that's collected. And actually, we'll do that in a second here. So the first thing it should do is just let's just play the video make sure... You can see here, I can see the rocket going all the way across. So this is a good movie clip to use. We can work with it. So the first thing it says what we're going to do is we're going to look at the buttons down here. These are just simple buttons that you should be familiar with. Play, stop, reverse. These two last buttons are really important. These are you advance the movie one by one, or frame by frame, I should say. You're going to use these buttons frequently. Looking at the next page, it asks you to click the play button to watch the video once. We did that. Um, then this button on the far right here is where you want to go and click on it. What you're going to see is you're going to get a whole host of buttons here and these are the buttons you're going to use to analyze the video. The first thing, I'm jumping down to where it says set up a coordinate system. Um, in all physics problems we need to set up a coordinate system. So as it says we're going to go to the third button from the top which is right here. I'm pointing to it where it says set origin. I'm going to click on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where the rocket launcher is and I'm going to set my origin on that rocket launcher. So I can play the movie again if I need to. Five, four, three, two, one. And I can see that the rocket launcher is right about there. So when I click on it, oh, let me go back and click on this again. Okay, when I click on it right here, you can see I have coordinate system set up. This is Y, this is your X. This little dot here allows me to kind of rotate it, and you want to rotate it so it kind of goes along with the playing field. Great, now I've set up my coordinate system. Next thing I have to do is set up my scale. It's important to know what the distance is. That's this button right here you got a little icon that says set the scale. If I click on that, now we've set this up so that one meter is the distance from the rocket launcher to the cone that was to the right of the rocket launcher. So what you want to do is carefully go and click on where the rocket launcher is and go to the right and you should see a little green line being formed. And as you see that, when you get to the cone, you stop and you're going to get this little pop-up window. Make sure that says 1.0 meters. And when you do that, you've got your coordinate system set up and you've got your scale set up. Great. Now we're ready to plot points. To plot points, we have to move the movie to the spot just before it launches. So let's hit play again, and I'm going to stop Five, it four, just before three, he launches. Two. Okay, I stopped it. You see I'm in midair there, about to stomp down on it. Now I'm going to use these buttons to go next frame, next frame, next frame. You see I'm just going frame by frame. And when I see the rocket come out, like I did right there, of the launcher, I'm going to go back to that point, And I'm going to start doing what's called adding points. And that's this second button from the top here called add point. When I click on that, I've got these crosshairs and I want to put those right, put the rocket right in the middle of those crosshairs. And when I do that, watch what happens. Click, I get a blue dot. 
that I've plotted a point and you can see here I've got a point plotted here on the graph and I've got values starting to form here on the data table. The next point I want to find the next frame where I can see it and when I do that again I put my crosshairs there I click on it boom you can see I've got more data and now at this point what I can do is I can make this bigger here we go and if I make this bigger you can see that I have values here for the height for the speed in the x-direction and the speed in the y-direction and we're gonna have to pull those values off here in a second but what I can keep doing is I can keep advancing the rocket and I can see it here I don't know if you can see it in the video but I can see it as I click through it and if you ever lose it you can just kinda of go backwards until you pick it up again and then go forwards and I want it I've gotten two points at the beginning so I'm good there I want to get the maximum height now so I'm gonna look for the spot where the rocket is at its maximum height and again I have to be able to see it and so in this rocket's trajectory it seems like right about there is where it got to its maximum height and so I've got to look for it looks like right there and then again right there okay and once I've gotten the max height and the starting speed then I'm actually done as far as plotting points and then it's just a matter of taking the information from here and put it in my data table.